lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to make a harvest sign and I found this really cute SVG in design bundles but I don't like the font so I've taken the font away and I'm left with the image but I want the words and so I thought today would be a really good opportunity to show you how you can use the curve tool so we're just going to write our text out so I've got two different fonts here. I've got this one which is Bernard MT Condensed which is just a straightforward font and then I've got this one which is Brush Script which you can see is a cursive font. So with a straightforward individual lettered font they're really easy to curve. Uh, you literally are just going to come in and you can go all the way around, you can go all the way up there's so much that you can do with this and it's just nice and straightforward and of course you can still change your letter spacing uh, you can still come in you can transform it you can do whatever you like and as long as you don't ungroup it you can still play with that curve and if at any point you want to just restart it just type in zero and press enter and it will bring it back to a straight line but I wanted to show you today with cursive text because whilst the curve tool is fantastic it does have its limitations and you really do feel it with curved text but that doesn't mean that you can't use it because you can use it and you can use it really well you just may have to do a few manual changes so the biggest thing with curved text is that you have to have your text as you've written it. If you come in and you go to advanced and you ungroup to letters so that you can manually move everything you will not be able to use the curve tool. If you then try and weld them so they become one you cannot use the curve tool so you mustn't actually physically change your text so you mustn't ungroup it until you are ready to. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to move my letter spacing and we'll just try and get them as close to each other as we can and of course sometimes it works really well and sometimes it doesn't you end up with ones that are perfect and then you end up with bits that are just too far away but we are going to come in and curve them now you'll notice that as I curve them it is actually changing my letter spacing so we are going to have to letter space again so I want that curve to be a little bit more and then I want to just maneuver my letter spacing a bit more and then I'm going to bring it over and I'm pretty happy where that is so I don't need my curve now I'm going to manually finish it off so I'm now going to go to advanced and ungroup to letters I'm just going to highlight my pum bit and I'm going to bring it in to my kin and then with my issues I'm just going to bring them a little bit closer to the W I'm going to highlight it all and I'm going to bring it over and make sure that I'm happy with it. I just want to move that a little bit closer and I also want to just transform it slightly. And of course it's always a personal choice how you want it to look. Always a personal choice. I like it like that. So then I'm going to weld it and I can just bring it over to my image so then we can work on this one so again I'm just going to reduce my letter spacing this one's going to take a little bit more manual work but we're going to go to our curve and we're going to go the other way we can then work a bit more on our letter spacing and it's always worth bringing it over to your image and just working out how you want it to be. Do you want quite an extreme curve? Do you want a kind of flatter curve? Do you want it to go, you know, it's completely up to you and how you want it to look. Again, I'm just going to work on my letter spacing. 
Once I'm happy with the general curve, I'm then going to ungroup my letters. I want to move my H just a little bit closer. I want to clean my R up just a little bit. I'm going to bring my S to my T and then my E I'm just going to move slightly. With my S's I'm just going to bring them a little bit closer to my K. I then just want to make sure that I'm happy with them and then I can weld. I think compared to the old way of doing it, the curve tool is, gee, it really is brilliant. Even with cursive text, you still have to do a little bit of manual work, but it's still a lot easier than it used to be. I absolutely love the curve tool, and there's so many different effects that you can do with it.